I was watching a thing about dog food today. This doctor, somebody <coughs> designed a dog food was freeze dry, and you add water and wait three minutes and feed it to your dogs, and it's supposed to have <coughs> the ultimate meat in it, which is uh, organ meat <coughs> mixed with <coughs> cuts of meat that actually are good enough for humans, you know, getting away from all the filler bullshit. <coughs> so his wrap is great. It's got just the right stuff in it. 16 ounces is $30. <laughs> 16 ounces is $30. <coughs> I think that'd be about one feeding. <sighs> so I guess we're not going to go with that route. He said, if you can't afford it, <clears throat> to feed it exclusively. Hello, Chloe. <laughs> to scare the predators. Uh, to get some, just sprinkling on your dog's food so they can get the nutrients and stuff. Shit, it's 16 ounces. That's not much sprinkling. That's about... Maybe 32 sprinkles at half an ounce a sprinkle. That might be alright. I don't know. It's ridiculous, isn't it? But if you think about it, think about the shit. You know, if they could get away, what they're getting away with feeding us is bad enough. Cooper, think what they're feeding your dog. Wow. I mean, I'm paying close to $2 a can for canned dog food. And I just, I don't know what else to do other than let the dog, dogs tell me if it's any good. <clears throat> and if they turn their nose up, I know. Just throw it away. I'm currently down to Imes. They sell it at the dollar store, actually cheaper. I guess people, because it used to be expensive. Come here, uh, Cooper. And, uh, anyway. So, probably going to end up making my own dog food. Just have to figure out how to do it. So, anyways, um, extraterrestrials are all over the place. Angels are all over the place. They want to help. E.T. wants to help. E.T. Extraterrestrials, listen here. This is a airport runway. You can land here now. They say they have medical ships that they can land and just funnel people in as fast as they can funnel them in and heal them, heal them, heal them in med bed technologies, which, you know, are from God, you know. I say, come on. Of course, I have to add, if it's okay with God, I have to put that on there. Because I otherwise be, might be calling in some bad news. Bad guys disguised as good guys. So, so far they haven't landed. All they have to do is hover over our, my house and suck us up by... Beam us up, Scotty. They have that technology. They've had it forever. It's, it's ridiculous. The shit we're living in where we could be living and where we're headed for fuck how long we got fucking wait fuck you know let's go Alex Collier saying yesterday I was talking about he said right now just focus on the life you want to have young healthy doing what you're put on the earth to do if you can't figure that out take a Myers-Briggs type personality type test that'll narrow it down for you <clears throat> you can get please understand me it's a book you can do it online take a 73 <clears throat> question test and you'll know what type you are right there right there <clears throat> within 20 minutes then you can read the 16 types there's only 16 you can read which one is you and if you don't agree with it <clears throat> read all 16 and see which one does fit you because your type may have been the type who would skew the test so just read all 16 and <clears throat> see which one or ones, because you might be a combo. And <clears throat> it's like when I did that, my sister gave it to me 
to prove that I should give up uh, being a musician or and stuff like that, and and maybe even the God stuff I was definitely uh, interested in. And, and the thing came out I was an ENFP. Come here, Koopy. <clears throat> Which is uh, four letters is is what you would be. And it turns out that God stuff and music was like high on the chart for an ENFP. So that's interesting. So she threw the book at me and left the room. But it changed my life. That's really all you need. Two things is what I say is all you need. Is a working knowledge of God. And uh, and hopefully you can get to one that's close to being correct. And then your type. What, your, what type you are. Once you know other people's types as well, it, it makes it easy like my son, well, older son, is a thinker, <clears throat> and I'm a feeler. Thinkers and feelers do not see eye to eye. But since I know he's a thinker, I can understand his point of view. It makes it a lot easier when you know other people's type. Uh, and if you know the 16 types, which is pretty easy, <clears throat> you can pretty much pinpoint what somebody is without even testing them. Uh, extrovert, introvert. Sensing, feeling, uh, I'm like sensing intuition. In other words, you use intuition for your answers or you use your hands for your answers. And then, uh, thinking, feeling, you think it through logically like Spock or you just go by your gut, which is feeling. And then the last one is uh, uh, you know, P, P and J. P is open-ended, J is you like everything nice, nice, neat, completed and done by the end of the day. And, uh, or you want to <clears throat> leave it all open-ended. So possibilities for change. Possibility, possibility, possibility. Cooper. Coopy. Come here, Cooper. Come here, Cooper. Not just, yeah. I had to throw out $30 worth of cheese. Plus empty my entire freezer of emergency food. Because I stupidly didn't realize you had to keep recycling it because <laughs> it goes bad well duh i didn't know you know now i know right finally finally clicked finally clicked in my brain so i had to throw out all these cheese squares i'd bought and koopy come here good cheese i swear it's not tainted <clears throat> it's the other cheese actually smelled even and, uh, one box was okay out of four. And the boxes are... Oh, she, he didn't eat that one. Oh, he's probably so used to it being bad, he didn't want to even try it. But he ate a piece of it earlier, so... <clears throat> anyway. Leave that for the coyotes. So anyway, if you're uh, having your emergency food, make sure you... If it's you're freezing stuff, just... What we were thinking is you'd freeze the stuff and that would be your security blanket but you need to keep eating it and, and if their shit goes to hell <clears throat> then whatever is in your freezer is what you're going to be eating and when it's gone it's gone that's all that, you know. so you need a bunch of dry stuff canned stuff soups stuff like that <clears throat> and then a way to cook it propane gas grill generator keep your microwave going Water or gas for your generator, pump your well. And uh, I've been hearing this for so many years, it's nauseating. <sighs> I would say over seven years I've been hearing this about putting up some food and water. <clears throat> and they all say it's short term but some people say short term is three days and some people say short term is three weeks and some people say short term is three months so I think it's different wherever you're at you just gotta listen to that inner voice and do what you're led to do as, as you should do in all things okay so I think this is Friday again. Yes, it is. <clears throat> and, uh, time to fly. Check.
check out those Alex Colliers uh, from 20, two teachings from 2021. And uh, stuff that he talked about is really well into happening now, I think. Oh, I've had this backwards the whole time. <laughs> oh, well, at least you had the video, I mean the audio.